Well, hello again. I am recording this on December 31st, 2019. And there will be one final Mac Pro 5.1 project before the beginning of the new year. I took delivery on this some time ago. Uh, it is a two mini six pin to eight pin power cord and it's been sitting here laughing at me because I've had no particular use for it. But there is a plan. The UPS truck today arrived with this. An AMD Radeon <clears throat> RX 580 metal supported graphics card. And in today's project, whether I get it done on the last day of 2019 or finish it up on the first day of 2020, we shall see. But the plan will be to install this graphics card into that Mac Pro, the one with the intact case into which I may eventually, if all goes well, move the components taken from this Mac Pro. Once I've done that, flash the firmware to allow for the installation of Mojave, install Mojave, and end up with both Mojave and a patched Catalina running on that machine. That way I can continue testing more accurately rather than testing how this machine in front of which I'm sitting behaves with Catalina and Mojave to how that machine behaves running High Sierra. Not a fair comparison. So anyway, that's what we shall be doing. So I hope you can stay along for the ride. I'm not really going to film doing this uh, whenever that seems to have been done by people in the past you get a wonderful view of the back of someone's hands and arms blocking everything that's going on anyway. But the process is pretty straightforward. There's a button here that allows you to move the fan casing back that will unlock the graphics card. <clears throat> Two thumb screws here. You can also use a small Phillips uh, turn. That pulls out. Power connections are back in here. Right now there is one mini six pin which powers this graphics card. That will come out. The new two mini six pin will go into both of those connectors there. New graphics card in, plug in the power, push the fan back to lock it into place, lock it in over here with the thumb screws and good to go. The only slightly awkward part is dealing with the mini six pin connectors which are stuck back there but <clears throat> I did in the other machine I should be able to get it done here so I will <clears throat> leave you to your devices and <clears throat> in a split second you'll be back with me okay <clears throat> success we booted up here into High Sierra and looking at about this Mac. Uh, well, you can see, but graphics Radeon RX 580 and 8 gigabyte. So we're good there. And now, and here's the expected message to install Mac OS Mojave if firmware update is required. To complete the update, click shut down and wait for your Mac Pro to power off. Next, hold the power button until the power indicator flashes or you hear a long tone. All right. So we're gonna shut down. Let's do apply the firmware update.
Okay, the light is off. Now this takes a bit. There goes the flashing. And the tone and the update is in progress. You may have heard the Optical drive eject. Of course, we're staring at a black screen because we don't see the boot screen. This takes some time and probably not necessarily worth you even watching it. Okay, optical drive is going back in. That's a good sign. And here we are, back in the High Sierra desktop. Now, at this point, I could, as the machine is telling me to do, set up the installation of Mac OS Mojave. However, what I'm going to try doing, I have cloned my Mojave installation from the Bent Leg Mac Pro on to an SSD that is currently in the machine. So if I select that as the startup drive, we should simply be able to start up in Mojave, saving the time of the installation. At least that's the plan. So I am going to do that. And hopefully the next part of this video will involve the Mojave desktop. Boy, isn't it wonderful when things just work the first time. I'd almost forgotten what that was like. But here we are on this intact case machine in Mojave. See it, the Lexar drive, the one six core processor. It's definite proof we're in this machine. All right. Yes, I think we're good. Memory all turning out. I think we really need to look at in the system report. Uh, like Pro 5, comma 1. Okay, this is all good. All right. Now, the final step. And since this worked, this should be pretty simple. Looking at our list of startup disks. Yeah. Okay. We're, if we were to select 
crucial SATA SSD, we should then be able to boot up in Catalina in the patched version. So our next seg segment of the video ought to be from the Catalina desktop. Well, <clears throat> 2019 ends on a high note indeed. That too just worked. It's a little scary. Okay, here's about this Mac. All the same <clears throat> information, different startup disk, different operating system. And I will say, all of God's blessings on the DOS Dude 1 because this patched version has been absolutely wonderful. There's no reason to think you were running anything other than a natively supported Catalina. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a hassle dealing with updates, but it's going to prove worth it. Uh, because honestly, I've been working on the other machine, admittedly, in Catalina pretty much exclusively. I haven't done much with, with Mojave. Uh, okay. So, where we go from here. I'm going to work with the, with the two machines. Again, looking for any possible idiosyncrasies on this machine that might cause me to rethink. There is one big upgrade that needs to be done and I had really hoped to avoid it. I do have to put in an updated airport Bluetooth card. When I did that on the bent leg machine, man what a pain that was. I got a PCIe uh, card from Fenvi, Chinese company, uh, in hopes that I could bypass that, but as it turned out, that card is really intended for Hackintoshes, uh, which this most certainly isn't. It almost kind of worked. There's no way to connect the Bluetooth, but I mean, it said handoff was going to work, but it really didn't. It said that uh, airdrop would work. No, that wouldn't work. It tried to unlock with my Apple Watch. That wouldn't work. So we're going to have to go through that one. So I'll be waiting on, on that to come. It comes from uh, the Netherlands, I think. And a bit of time after the holidays. But that'll be the next big thing. If that gets installed and works then yeah, we're going to go ahead and take all of the component parts from the Bent Leg Mac Pro, including the CPU tray, put them into this Mac Pro, and the end result is going to be two working Mac Pros, one with two processors, one with one. Uh, it's quite an adventure. Okay, so I'm going to take a break now. Time to watch a hockey game. Go Knights. Uh, and then after that game, I'll put this video together and probably get it up maybe right around midnight. So, Happy New Year to everyone.